Oh, that was going to be a heater. <laughs> All right, what's up, people? How we doing? We are uh, doing some work today. I've been uh, cleaning up the range, getting it all set up and nice looking. It's beautiful. We have really done a, a nice job cleaning everything up. The only thing left is to get rid of those two cars, which will probably just bury them somewhere in a jump or something on the, on the moto track, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Unless the EPA is listening. What I'm going to do is talk about something that's really important to, to start thinking about in your training. And that is seeing what you need to see. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run my drill, the little three position drill. Um, and then we're going to run some, some hard transition stuff. Maybe we'll play with the tree a little bit. But I'm just going to be going at that, not, not, not necessarily speed mode, uh, but like hauling ass mode sending it mode and i'm not disregarding accuracy i'm trying to basically perform so we'll set up just some some small movements and just slay uh some targets and we'll talk about it as we go through the drills i don't have a lot of battery so i want to rock through this but seeing what you need to see to different people is different things okay sometimes seeing what you need to see is is just sight picture related for me seeing what i need to see is it's more of a broad spectrum of things where I like to visualize a little bit before I really set up and I want to perform and I want to really do something to the, to the, to the best of my abilities. Seeing what I need to see is first the visualization process of seeing that, that drill done in my head, seeing me drill that reload, seeing me push off and get out of position, seeing me, uh, uh, you know, whatever the footwork that I believe I'm going to do in this part or that part, not, not going through every step of it like, like I would a stage or something and not really getting too caught up on that stuff. But basically what I like to talk about is called moving like a GM. I tell people this all the time. And if you take a, any grandmaster shooter or any of the highest elite level grandmaster shooters and you watch them shoot, they never look awkward. They never look out of place. They always look slick. They always look, you know, nice and in positions. Even if it's an awkward position, they're still just, just money. If you took a picture of them, basically at any moment through a course of fire, stage, drill, exercise, whatever, they look balanced. They look low. They look wide. They look set up. Maybe their, their, their style is a more upright style or a more aggressive posture doesn't really matter they're always going to look in position and solid so that's one part of seeing what i need to see i envision myself looking like that i envision myself looking like when i get into this position i'm going to come up roll stay low do my work drill drill the target um, i want to see depending on sight pictures and distances i want to see dot press dot press if it's five yards three yards seven yards Basically, I need to just see dot in the middle of cardboard and I'm drilling twice. I'm just pulling the trigger twice and letting my natural index and natural alignment and natural recoil control do the rest. And then I, I work that process all the way through before I start a drill. So let's, let's start shooting here. We'll just elaborate on this as we go. So I'm going to do this drill and we are just going to, we're going to let one go. Uh, the fastest I've been able to do this clean is a 449 or something now I'm gonna do it from concealment but that doesn't matter because uh, there's no reloads or anything but I'm gonna let this thing eat once and we'll see what happens moving off the draw uh, really I I'm envisioning what I'm going to do so first things first I'm gonna draw and step and try to drill those two shots literally while my foot's in the air okay this is one thing that I did not do. Humble Marksman mentioned it. Pops Quest, when he redid his, he mentioned him doing the same thing, and it's something that I didn't do. I basically just kind of drew fast. It was a .98 draw at 10 yards, so not bad from outside the waistband. But I drew fast and just kind of lean, pow, pow, and then I'm, I'm still just kind of leaning over. I'm not moving. So this time I'm gonna try to, <laughs> I'm going while breaking those two shots. Now, I might pull a Charlie or two on this. I'm just going to rip on it. I'm letting her go. I'm not 100% worried about that perfect score. But 
I'm, I'm seeing what I need to see as far as sites. I'm seeing dot press, dot press, dot press, dot press. And I'm, I'm kind of visualizing right before I go off what I need to see. And also what I need to see is these markers. I need to have some small glances, you know, as I go, bang, bang, I need to glance here and know that I got a little two-step ding, ding coming over to this side, same thing. I need to see those markers and get back up on gun, on sights, on target, dot press, dot press, seeing what I need to see. If you start understanding this concept and utilizing it in your practice, you will get better immediately, but you have to start really thinking deeper. And also, you got to start letting her eat a little bit, just letting her go, okay? There's nobody watching, there's nobody around besides all you goons, but uh, this is practice. <clears throat> hey. Okay, oh, all right, so 494, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got two A's on the left, two A's in the middle. Oh shit, I think I cleaned that. There was already two shots on one of them. Can't remember which one. Okay, awesome. Two shots here, two shots, oh. Two shots on the left side, two shots on the uh, the center there, one way down at the bottom, one up to the top. And then there was already two shots. I think these two shots definitely were already there. Those were not those two. This one and this one with those two sending her a little bit. Uh, 494, first shot one, no, first shot 98. Uh, so seeing what I need to see in that drill and that moment and moving around and aggressively trying to rip on it there, once I'm here, I'm thinking sights and, and target, sights and target. I'm really not even worried about my feet. My feet will do what they need to do. I've been an athlete in boxing and all that shit all my life, so my feet are naturally going to do what they need to to keep me upright. Other than that, as soon as I get close to those positions, I'm glancing, I'm getting into position, and I want to look target, 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 target. Where's my dot? Where's my target? Seeing what I need to see. Bang, 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 bang. Okay? Okay, so at 10 yards, seeing what I need to see to drive across these, I'm going to try to get you guys to see my eyeballs, actually. Let's, let's do this. So seeing what we need to see, transitioning the gun, bump transitions, bounce transitions, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to try to bounce the gun across these targets. And I want to be able to see my eyes in this. So I'll zoom in and try to really see my eyeballs. I'll take my glasses off take one for the team here and I'm gonna run across these targets as fast as I can shoot A's on these targets All right <laughs> that was actually pretty quick there 244, eight shots all the way across the targets. I did pull two on this one in the center, down low. This one here is a good, uh, well, we got both of them on the lines, two in the center down here low, and then uh, the other two are pretty smoking. So obviously I'm coming into those first, and those are gonna be the ones that kinda are the, uh, the easiest, and then things can, uh, can get out of hand the more you go it's a lot of exercise in seeing what you need to see when i'm railing across those four targets and the gun going bang bounce bang bounce bang bounce and what we'll do also here eh, real quick let's just do this one so let's see my eyeballs what i'm gonna do is come from here i'm gonna go bang bang and transition all the way over here to this target and I want you guys to see that when we have a target that's far enough that we can actually suck the gun in slightly, it's, it's sometimes faster to suck the gun in just slightly and press it out that, that inch at the end than to come here and swing around because a lot of the time, if the transition is wide enough sometimes, 
we want to suck it in just a hair because if we're out here cantilevered, we can swing past. So if it's like a, a 90 degree transition, which this is, sometimes I'll ding ding and off that second shot, I will let the gun recoil back and then I press out again, boom, boom. Okay, so we're gonna run that fast one time and see what that looks like. So I want my eyeballs to show. <clears throat> so I'm here. Okay, I'm letting the gun recoil off of that target. I'm calling that shot perfect, two perfect A's, coming over here and gang gang. Just perfect, centering up into that. I never have to, uh, I never have to worry about overshooting the target because I'm kind of letting it come in and back out. And I'm not punching out, I'm just very smoothly rolling. And this is what we, we talk about flowing and flowing from target to target and stuff. These kind of little exercises are huge. All right, we're gonna do that one again. We're gonna go one, two, let the recoil kind of ride and press out to this other target. So we'll see how quick we can do a 90 degree transition, a seven yard target and a 10 yard target. Okay, awesome. So that was a 116, let's see what the transition was 54. So let's actually, let's just play with it and experiment with swinging hard once and see if that way is um, any better instead of what I'm doing where I'm letting the recoil kind of soak in and then coming back out. So we're gonna go one, two, and swing hard. Okay, 118, same damn near time. Let's look at the transition. Okay, 54, so damn near the exact same thing really. Um, so I, I do believe that it's easier for me to see coming in just a little bit off that recoil and, and it's hard for me not to do it because I practiced it a good bit. Let's do that again, see if I can do it more. Forty-seven. Let's do it one more time. This time I'm going to suck it in and just turn as hard as I possibly can and push it back out slowly. Okay, I got a little bit of a little bit of a bobble there. That was a fifty. So all about the same, really. Uh, let's do one shot on that. Okay, a 54. So, a, a 10 yard target, seven yard target, pretty pretty good transition time for 90, uh, 90 degrees here. Let's just send a, an El Presidente. From concealment, El Pres. The old uh, Herald, Herald's, Herald's holsters, you ever heard of them? And this is, uh, this is seeing what I need to see practice, okay? It's not speed mode because I'm still trying to maintain accuracy. I'm not just going as fast as I possibly can. Speed mode means going as fast as I possibly can in every aspect. I'm going to reload as fast as I possibly can. I'm going to do everything as fast as I possibly can. So let's just rock out an El Prez here. We don't have much ammo left. All right, let's do this. El Prez from concealment. And uh, like I said, I'm seeing what I need to see. I'm coming across there. One, two, three, four, five, six, driving. And back. Let's go. All right. A 4.5 second El Prez from concealment. Going for, uh, going for A's. I'm not going full speed mode, but performance mode.
Oh, that was going to be a heater. <laughs> Dude, that was going to be a straight heater. <laughs> oh, that felt like just just rolling across. Okay. One, two, three, four. We're all good on this one in the center. Nope, nope. Got a Charlie on the bottom. Fuck. Um, two Charles, one Charles, and then this target. Uh, I, I know that all four of them were A's because the last ones obviously were slower. A 34 split on the last two shots and a bad, just a, a, a kind of a hiccup there. That was a 448. Um, let's see what the reload was because that felt good. <laughs> 128 reload. <laughs> that ain't bad from concealment, baby. Shoo. That'll look cool, at least. Um, 